jbeans.net. We sailed on the Celebrity Eclipse for seven nights in June 2024. If you follow these 11 tips, you'll likely enjoy sailing on her as much as we did. Just a quick note that if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. It really helps our channel. And consider subscribing so you get alerted when we add new videos. Our first tip is a big one. Make sure you pay attention to the ample signage available throughout the Celebrity Eclipse to make navigating the ship a breeze. Next to the ship's elevators, large wall-mounted glass displays included a side profile of the ship with a deck-by-deck -deck listing of venues, a deck plan for the current deck, and a listing of all venues by deck. Inside the elevators, a listing of venues by deck was available above the doors. Ship cutouts were also located near the elevators, and the cutouts included the same side profile information and current deck plan as the glass displays. In other areas of the ship, more wall-mounted displays included side profile information, current deck plan, and directional information for nearby venues. Smaller versions of these displays with a bit more focused information were also mounted in the stateroom hallways. It's worth noting that all the ship graphics and cutouts were facing the same direction as the actual ship, making it helpful for quickly figuring out forward and aft. Our next tip is to generally use the more convenient midship elevators on the Celebrity Eclipse. The ship had a total of eight midship elevators divided into two sets, four on the port side or left side and four on the starboard side or right side. That setup made it easy for us to switch sides if we thought one set was too busy, which was especially helpful when returning from port. Conversely, there were only four elevators available in the forward part of the ship, and only three of those elevators went to deck three, and only two of them went to deck two. A special button needed to be pressed to call the specific decks three and two elevators. Speaking of returning from port, our third tip is to cool off under the ceiling vents near the walls of the midship elevators, especially on the stateroom decks. The vents had air conditioning flowing from them, which made them a wonderful spot to stand waiting for an elevator on the Eclipse. Our next tip is to check out Cafe El Baccio for tasty complimentary breakfast items and afternoon snacks. During our cruise aboard the Eclipse, the venue had pastries and muffins available in the morning and various snacks and desserts starting at noon. The snacks were often more delicious than any of the other options we found around the ship. Gluten-free and sugar-free options were available. Our fifth tip is to pay attention to the food labels and the Celebrity Eclipse's Ocean View Cafe Buffet. The labels indicated if the food was gluten-free, vegetarian, no sugar added, and or lactose-free, which made it easy for guests to find options that fit their dietary needs. Speaking of the buffet, our next tip is to enjoy the afternoon tea that's available daily at the Ocean View Cafe. During our cruise aboard the Eclipse, a selection of packaged tea was available, along with small sandwiches, scones, cookies, and other afternoon tea favorites. Our seventh tip is to make sure you're aware of the seating options available in the theater aboard the Celebrity Eclipse. The venue mostly featured individual high back cushion chairs with armrests that had a drink holder. Additionally, there were a few two-person love seats and some companion seating available. 
Unlike the rest of the theater, the back of the venue used bar stool type seating on both decks. It's worth noting that some seating in the upper deck had limited sight lines due to railings and other obstructions. Our next tip is to visit the spa veranda area at the front of Deck 12 Ford, especially for your sail away. The veranda provided a fantastic viewing spot as the eclipse made its way to the Statue of Liberty during our sail away. In addition to great views, the area wasn't very crowded, which made it the perfect spot for the experience. Our ninth tip is to take some time to appreciate the artwork in the hallways and public spaces of the Celebrity Eclipse. Most of the artwork had informational signs located nearby that described the artist, how the art was made, the inspiration for the work, and more. The signage made it much easier to understand and enjoy the art. Our next tip is to check out the small, cozy, quiet spaces hidden in plain sight on the Eclipse. There were two of these spaces located on Deck 8 midship, overlooking the hub area on Deck 7 below. And there were two more spaces on Deck 11 midship, overlooking the library area on Deck 10 below. Each of these spaces had two comfy chairs and a small drinks table available. Our 11th and final tip is to pick up a paper crossword and Sudoku puzzle at guest services. The puzzles were available daily during our cruise.